Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman is chairwoman of the House Tea Party Caucus, and she's my guest now. Congresswoman Bachman, thanks so much for being here. So, and you're, you, are, you, Megan. you are one of, if not the only tax lawyer in Congress as well. And so what do you say to this? Because it sounds like everybody, every taxpayer is going to get some sort of a benefit, and yet, boy, does it have a tag on it. It has a price tag, and Megan, there are other costs that are associated as well. You know, extending the unemployment benefits for 13 months has a cost of about $54 billion. At this point, it doesn't appear that there are any offsets. In other words, it doesn't appear that that is paid for anywhere in the bill. That will add to the deficit going forward. As well, we're pleased to see that we're looking at a 2% reduction in the payroll tax, what we normally call the Social Security tax for employees. There won't be a reduction it doesn't appear for the employer portion. Stimulative effect, but remember, 2010 is the first year that we, the government put more out. We spent more on Social Security than what we took in in revenue. So what will this mean? What this will mean is a decrease in revenue for the Social Security Trust Fund. That will again add to the deficit going forward. So both of these measures that President Obama is proposing will actually have a cost toward increasing the deficit. Is it worth it to you though to, to give the President the things that he's asked for like the extension of un unemployment benefits in order to preserve tax cuts for all Americans? We simply must preserve the tax cuts for all Americans going forward. And really what it is, Megan, is preventing massive tax increases. But is, is it worth it to you? Because now they're saying, you, you Republicans, you can't have that, says the president, unless you give on these other things. And, and in response to that, you say what? Well, it's a good question because there will be unintended consequences. But remember, it's curious to me that they say that there's a cost involved when people are allowed to keep their own money. And they're talking about Americans being able to keep $700 billion of their own money. The cost is to the Treasury, but really it's a cost out of the American people's pockets. So that's a definition of terms. The real cost will be in the, of the unemployment benefits and in the reduction to the Treasury so, but, of the Social but Security. But I hear, I hear you outlining the problems that you have with it and 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 obviously you feel committed to those but what what are you going to do about it i mean as a practical matter mm -hmm. do you as as a, as a conservative as a tea party backed person uh do you go in there and say i'm not going to vote for this i'm going to wait until this lame duck congress expires the republicans come into power in january and i'm going to vote for something that doesn't include uh the the, the things that president obama has put into this deal i think that might be impractical to do that I'm also a business owner. My husband and I have a small business, health clinics. We employ about 50 people. And we're representative of all of the small businessmen and women out there who right now don't even have a tax table for the next year. So we have to have certainty going forward on the tax tables. We simply cannot adjourn and leave before Christmas and go home and tell the American people, sorry, you have no idea what the tax tables will be next year. We have to have an answer. And so there will have to be a give and take. This may be the best we can do, but I think it's important for the American people to know that this also likely will mean adding to the deficit something that we really shouldn't be doing right now. All right, Congresswoman, I have to ask you. You know, you are so you're a tax lawyer. You're a small business owner. You've had, I think, up to ten children in foster care that you've looked after. You're a U.S. Con Is there anything that you don't do? <laughs> 23 children in foster oh, care my and five bi biological kids, so I'm the old woman in the shoe, and I'm not <laughs> expecting a baby on, right now, unlike you, but um, we're, we're looking forward to having a great Christmas with a lot of little mouths around the table this year. Oh, good for you. Thank you so much for being our guest. We appreciate it. Thanks, Megan.